Hello, my name is Julie. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Treasures Made From Yarn. So I thought I would actually go through the process of putting a liner in this bag. Just to remind me how so far this bag was made. It was made on my knitting machine. So this is a tube that was folded in half. And this is a panel. It's made of I-cord and I thought I'd go through the process of adding a lining which could work for any bag you want to put in there. So I already kind of started. So first I think I'm using this bag as a template. Try to roughly cut this so it's the size of this bag. So oh. should hopefully just fit. See I cut it to the size of the bag. And what I, this is based on a video I've seen, of which I don't remember <laughs> the video or who was. But I thought what I was gonna do is actually with this this tool, this tool here, I punched holes, which I still were hide kinda of, I was surprised they were hard to find. I still have to go through went through and make them bigger. But see you can't even see the holes. So I've already started. I'm putting a single crochet around evenly according to that device around this piece of fabric. So I'm going to finish putting a single crochet around and then I'm going to get back with you. Okay, I came back for a bit. So I'm going to show you this is the back side. Hold it down. The holes, see it's hard to see how far the holes are. Even I still had to, after, even after going with this, I still had to go behind with one of the, I'm using one of these in poking and getting in here, finding the original hole. And just poking hole. If you don't have a double pointed needle, probably use the fine tip of a scissors might work but yes even I have to make the holes a little bigger so I get my hook through that and I suppose I should mention the hook size I am using is three millimeter so yeah I have to go through and poke holes in it some more as you see in the back side so as I go through I try to fold it down as because yeah, I got them at the corner too so that's been folding it so obviously I kind of winged this I did just the holes. I didn't bother to count to see if they're the, the same amount, the top or bottom, but I suppose you know we could always frog that. If I had an iron, I know, try to fold it. So yeah, so I did the holes about a half inch, they're about a half inch away, and then fold it over. So do it, so. I still have to finish up this side yet in the front and then when I'm done with that then for sure I'll be back. Now we're back. And I'm done. I got a single crochet evenly around the uh, lining. So now in hindsight, you know, if I might try this on the next one, it looks like I just dropped, I just dropped my hook that it's kind of puckering. I might consider, because I think the yarn is thinner, I probably, because I was using probably a size, about size two to three, I probably should have put two in each hole or two in every other one, because it feels like that it's gonna be puckered together, but we'll make it work. It's something to think about. So what we want to do, what my next plan was, obviously we want the nice side when we open the bag on the inside. So we're going to put the right sides together. Okay. I got my 
look back. So, make sure I take him da, da, da. like this. Hopefully, find about the half foot fold in half. So obviously, you know, I'm kind of winging this, and if I get off a couple, we'll just, we'll just fudge it. I'm just going to slip stitch to join. Obviously, the two halves through the single crochets, and then we're just going to slip, just going to slip stitch to join the two side halves. On one side, put it through the other corresponding single crochets and slip stitch. Again, just putting it. Yeah, I know. I probably should have done this on my overhead camera, but it's a process trying to show you what how I'm doing this. So, so I'm slitch, slip stitching this together, and then when I'm done, I'm just gonna go do. And do the other side then I will be back I'm back I changed my mind I'm not gonna slip stitch because it pulled it it pulled it it gathered it in way too much for some reason so I'm just sewing it I think it's called a mattress stitch I'm not sure but so we go in one way with the needle and then you go back down the next two sew it that way just go back and forth that way and that's how we're that's how I'm sewing them together so I'm gonna finish up this side and do the other side and then again I'll be back okay right, now I got the two sides sewn together I think on the other side I just end up doing the whip stitch which is you know just kind of put it you know sew it around so Anyway, that's what that looks like on the inside. So, I decided if I, for my next bag, I probably will not single crochet around. Just maybe single crochet the two together, just to begin with. But I was having a little difficulty with that, so I thought it might have been easier just to go around with a single crochet. But anyway, it doesn't look too bad. So anyway, we're going to put it now. Obviously, we want this on the inside. We're going to put it in our bag. I pray that I... It seems to fit pretty well. I don't know any ends we got is going on the inside. So... I think I counted the stitches around here as something like 30 something, 37 or something. So now I'm probably going to have to, obviously this is, was a, I have a 40 pin machine so there's a 40 stitches here so now we're just going to crochet through probably the end here and to the top of each one. I might have to put two in a couple to make it add up to 40. So obviously I want 20 on each side. So let's see, I'm not sure if I want to keep using I got a three millimeter hook. I might try going up. It's a G hook, so which is slightly bigger. I'm gonna have to sew the ends in later. We're just gonna find our way on top. Oh, uh, you're caught on something. Come on. Don't. So I'm going to single crochet through the bag and through 
the line. Each stitch, well, and some stitches, like I said, will have to have maybe two to make it even and out. All right, wish me luck. Okay, so we're just gonna keep because I'm finding the top stitch, and then probably just go through that one again. Top stitch, stop stitch, yep, find top stitch on bag and stitch on that. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing that around. I'll try to get 40 stitches around. So far, just trucking along. All right. I know I don't normally wear a headband, but I do have a pattern for this. It's a popcorn scarf. So if you're into this kind of thing, I do have a pattern for that. So I'm about ready to go around the corner. So I'm just going to put the handle over here and just go on to the first empty stitch. I don't know if you can, like right, right there. I'm going to kind of line that up. So there's our first side so far. All right, there it is slip stitched back to the beginning so I'll probably weave these ends and secure this handle more and then probably do the same for the other side try to secure the handle in so but she ain't the prettiest that's kind of winging it I was trying to be a learning process and just I just took you along with me for the for the ride I, I mean next time what would I do differently would be I went single crochet along because I'm not a fan of that. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I would just next time just single crochet. Like, actually, it was in the tutorial I watched. Just single crochet the two layers at once together. I probably won't have that. I was kind of hoping it would work out, but it didn't. But maybe it helped you guys. Maybe maybe you don't have a sewing machine. Or like me, you didn't want to dig out the sewing machine. Especially just for one bag. This is helpful. That's pretty much an, it's pretty much a no-sew lining. Just single crochet here. We're trying to secure that in. If you did actually find this video useful, give it a like. If you do want to see more content like this or any of my tutorials or other videos that just talk about what I got going on, please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you always for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye now. Bye.